Um, can you tell me your opinion on um, when Jay Prince stated that if he would have gotten Tupac on rap a lot, nothing would have happened to him? Yeah, I spoke on this before. I heard the question you did with Mutal and Mutal uh, Napoleon cleared that up as well. And shout out uh, Napoleon, still got, man, I can just tell y'all, when I hear that young man speak, nothing but love and respect for the growth he, he came from, from a 18, 19 year old man to the man he is today. So shout out Napoleon. I know the group is trying to, got all of y'all uh, believing that um, there's issues with Bomb First and, and Napoleon. Napoleon is all good with Bomb First and John and Richie. Trust and believe me. Anything that we put out over here, it gets sanctioned. It's all good. But anyway, uh, I'm not going to tap on that situation too hard because I know how people on YouTube and and stuff like that, or, or exploit the hell out of a, a situation, especially you conspirators. Me, I don't believe, and I know y'all running with it, that Jay Prince has something to do, or his son has something to do with with the death of a boy, Takeoff, rest in peace, Takeoff, for the Migos, tell y'all, top three favorite uh, groups after uh, Outkast, Ghetto Boys and the Dog Pound. <laughs> so I guess that'd make them number four. Even though I know a lot of you youngsters love them, put them on top of the, the plateau. I get it, I understand. It just we grew up in different eras. But uh, I know some of y'all be like, how can you forget the NWA? My opinion, Reggie's opinion only. With Amigos is, is up there. Uh, especially for the music and the type of music that's out today. Uh, so shout out to him. But we're not going to do that over here on Bomb First and go over here or Reggie. Um, and I know John not a part of that either. Well, we're going to exploit the hell out of this situation. But all I'm going to say is it just to show you, man, I don't care how gangster, how tough, how you move, when you gutter and you're hanging out in the gutter, and you gutter dudes, that shit comes with that territory. Little Jay Prince ain't had nothing to do with trying to set that up to that man. Don't let the conspirators make money off of y'all pushing that theory. There, the princes are just as upset that that shit happened, especially when you checked in with them, as they, they, that, that term that I hate, that check-in bull BS. Don't agree with it. I just believe you have niggas that you're cool with and you bring them around and you be with them. But they apparently did everything they were supposed to in Houston, being from Atlanta and being gutter. It's just an unfortunate situation that happened in Houston uh, when you're around that type of atmosphere. If you're not going to go in and just hang with your woman and church people and all of that, and you're going to be around people that's that way, stuff like that happens in ghettos. And that's what I feel that happened. That's what I always tell you that happens when you're around it. Nobody can protect nobody if somebody wants to hurt you. It's what you do after, or how you respond to that, or how you maybe deflect that. But I'm telling you, if the president of the United States, somebody wants to get him, got, as we done saw, you get got. And so I'm saying that to defend what happened to us with Tupac, unfortunately, that's what happened. That's what happened with the Migos. So now y'all saying the mob ties and all of those dudes ain't G and ain't tough and, and did this and did that or they was trying to have that brother killed? No. That ain't what happened, y'all. And don't let people benefit and start 
all of this Tupac Biggie BS over with the amigos, with the brother take off, a uh, 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 fortunate situation that then happened to all of our friends, brothers, or sister at one time, when you in the gutter, when you're a gutter dude, when you live in the ghetto, when you hang around that mentality. Unfortunately, we all can't be like Russell Simmons, you know, where you start making money and you just move and get out of the ghetto. I, I take my head off the Russell for doing that, but we don't do that. Niggas still want to keep their foot to the to the streets and still be in, out there. And until they stop doing that, but then you don't love their music. You don't know what they're talking about. Then you become soft. So you can't win, unfortunately. I'm not saying which way is right or which way is wrong. But that's what happens. And y'all got to learn that. So I'm just saying that to respond to, just like I've always been saying, saying about the J Prince making that statement. It's unfortunate that it had to come home to him real quick and where he can see, whoa, well maybe I ain't as tough as I think I am. Maybe I can be touched. We all can be. I tell y'all that all the time. It's just what happens once you get touched. What happens? You niggas know what happened when Tupac Shakur got touched. That's all I'm gonna say on that. <laughs> so Bob first, I'm about to reverse the tables on John. Cause John knows this shit. I keep telling y'all the bullshit you come to Reggie for, but if you really here for the adult shit, the grown up shit, the music shit, which what this channel is really about and why John get frustrated with me a little sometime, um, cause he's really a music head. But a lot of people in the comment section ask this question all the time, John. And I won't be honest, I don't know. I don't know the answer to it. And so people always say something about on one of the songs at the beginning, there's a track where Tupac says, Shook shot me. What the hell are they talking about? Um, on the Machiavelli album, on the first song, they have like a, they have street noise and it's like a reporter saying, you know, um, you know, the, the intro to the album where he's saying that Tupac is not available for comment, but release a statement. The thing they're talking about is a sample. Um, and the, the group that they sampled is called Daft Punk. They're like a, a electronic music, electronica or some shit like that. But the song is called um, The Funk, but it's spelled D-A and then funk. But if people go and listen to that song on a streaming service, they're not going to hear the Sugar Shot Me. It's from the music video of that song. If you go to YouTube and you go to the music video of that song, within the first four seconds of that music video, you will hear the exact same background and what sounds like somebody saying, Shug shot me, but that's not what um, that's not what was said. It just is mumbling background noise. But it's pretty coincidental that it did say that, but it is a sample. Yeah. Hey, I don't know. I don't know where y'all get from it, where you conspirators going with that. Because if Tupac's alive, and y'all ain't saying this, the realist that said it, then why is that even a subject? But I swear I read that at least once the two times a week. And so I always wondered what the hell that meant. And I said, I'll ask John in the next uh, interview.